Hey guys, so today we're gonna go ahead and join Yami from the Latina Next Door and Nicole from The Week's Nest, and we're gonna do our Look for Less Challenge. I'm really excited about this one, so make sure you let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget I try and link everything I used in the description box, and if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. Okay, let's get started. Don't forget, Yami and Nicole's channels will both be linked in the description box as well as everything I used and the playlist for everybody's look for less. So come check it out and see what we all made. All right guys, so here's my inspiration piece. This is what I'm going to be working off of, but I am going to make a smaller version because it's for my basement bathroom and that is not a very big room. So I'm gonna go ahead and downsize it, but we are going to make this for way less than $699 which is what it costs here at Pottery Barn. I'm going along with the beach theme, and there are a couple different mirrors for this Look for Less challenge that you can get at Dollar Tree. There's this one, which is gonna be a little bit bigger one, and it's circular, obviously, or there's this cute little one. I'm gonna go with this smaller one because I'm going to go ahead and end up putting it in the bathroom with the rest of the Look for Less challenge pieces that I've made that are in that beachy theme. So I'm gonna use this one, and I have a small bathroom, so I don't need a huge piece. So I wanna go ahead and get something a little bit more sturdy to hold all the driftwood together. So I have this tag from back at Christmas time. And what I'm doing is I'm just measuring so that it's the same on every side. And it's it might not be perfect, but I wanna get it close. All right, so after I clean my mirror, I'm gonna E6000 it into the center. So I'm choosing E6000 for the mirror because it is going to be the heaviest part. For the rest of the project, I'm just going to use hot glue. That needs to dry though before we can put the driftwood on. All right guys, here's our driftwood. These are just the wood chips that are around the trees in my backyard. They're getting older and so we wanted to replace them so I'm using several that I thought looked a lot like driftwood. Um, but this is totally free. I did have to bring them in and let them dry out a little bit because we've been having weather, but I'm really excited to start gluing these on and I'm just gonna go ahead and play around, get them in a place that I like so they fit semi good together and we'll just go from there. All right, so I still need to clean up all the like glue gun spider webs, but this is kind of how it turned out. I also need to add the back like to hold it onto the wall, that's also going to be a Dollar Tree item kit. So we have a dollar for the mirror and a dollar for the back piece. These were free and then I'm going to use a Dollar Tree hanger on the back. So that's three dollars for a mirror that started out at $6.99. $699 at Pottery Barn. Granted it's not as big but I really like it. This size is perfect for my house. Here's a picture of my final product for $3 versus the Pottery Barns for $699. So there's definitely some differences. You can tell I took some artistic freedom and I didn't give it a border or make it completely a circle. I made it more like a sunburst, but um, I'm really liking how this turned out. So I hope you guys do too, but let me know in the comments below what do you think of this new Look for Less project. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to do another craft next week. Until then, bye-bye.